Hello, this is Craig, and welcome to another episode of Cruising Off Duty. We're continuing our series on sailing a catamaran in the British Virgin Islands. In the previous episodes, we visit the Baths and then Spanish Town. If you haven't seen those episodes, I'll leave a link at the top so you can go back and see them first. But this is day three of our charter, where we head on to Monkey Point. Monkey Point ends up being by far the best snorkeling we get on the entire trip. All that coming up on this episode of Cruising Off Duty. Day of our charter, and there's a wee bit of rainbow action going on. We've had some little rainstorms, and oh my goodness, can't even get the whole rainbow in. We had a bit of a rain shower, and now we have a Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? Like this is the boat we saw in the dark when we went by last night. Just before we almost got run over. Yep, yeah, just before we almost got run over by yep. a ferry. Um, called Gallant Lady. So we're gonna look it up on Google later. Yes. And figure out who owns Gallant which celebrity, Lady. Which American celebrity? It's gotta be. Or multi-millionaire businessman yeah. owns. It's a beautiful boat. Although you know what, when we were in St. Martin, I saw bigger boats that actually had full helicopters on a helicopter yes. pad. Yeah, we'll see those. Those are unbelievable. We are raising the sail, hoisting the sail. So Craig is at the wheel, and Colin and Dan are hoisting the sail. Downwind, ooh, this is gonna be fun. Wanna, Maybe like a sleigh ride, I hope. One into the wind. I can Pointing point. to, going a bit better than it did yesterday, so far. Got a, just a slow one speed winch. A lot of ropes involved with hoisting this one sail. We oh, doing a spin. Those who love the Carolyn, hello, Carolyn. It's like we're in a race, because we're sailing so close to these people. This is fun, we're racing. Woo! Just a bunch of cats close together. That mono is having a fun time. I'm happy to be on a catamaran right now. That does not look enjoyable at all. The dinghy, like you got, they're... No, it's like they're gonna lose that thing. <laughs> this is a good spot to be, like a roller coaster. Now we're, now we're zooming. There's Craig back there. Hell yeah, 44. That was kind of on our potential list of boats. Had a breakfast and lots of coffee, and there is off to a great start. All right, so we're sailing along anywhere between six and a half and seven and a half knots downwind. It's really nice sailing downwind because you got these big rollers that follow us, and we kind of surf down them. Look at this big one coming. Gives us that extra half knot of speed. Colin running the show. The power cap following us. Look at him surf. He just surfed. Did you see the Yeah. Wave? I just watched him surf. Watch, he slows right down until the next wave comes and then. Yeah, and now it's gonna surf again. Whoa. The ladies are all in the bow. So the gentlemen are all in charge of the operation. We're drinking and relaxing, and we're coming up towards some beautiful islands. Here we go, see things. I have no idea what these islands are, but they're pretty. Flying on the hammock. Yes, we've been relaxing. This whole sail, and it's been great because we've been down, going down with the whole way and just surfing. Yesterday, I guess uh, Carol and I were lying on this and getting black with everyone. Looks like we're heading toward that bay, or that cut. Getting excited now, because we're almost there. We're in a beautiful area, so beautiful. Monkey Point. Are we going to Trellis Bay or Turtle Bay, or what are we doing? No, we decided to skip that. Oh! Oh. Okay, it's too windy for that. We're going on, pack the sail. I've been saving, I've been saving you. You saved me too. We had to skip Turtle Bay because it was going to be too rolly with the wind direction, so 
that somewhere. I wanted to focus the turtles, obviously. Uh, one day. Here we are. We just pulled into Monkey Point. It's so typical of the weather around here. It's sunny, and then by the time I got my camera to do this little pan, it starts to rain. So if you get a little spots on the lens, that's what it's from. When a storm is coming, I see their faces and hear their laughter, but the taste is bitter. The pelican. Oh, the pelican. Here he comes. Here he yeah, comes. Grab, the... grab him on film. I got him. Excellent. Nice. Boom. Oh, neat. He's just that diving one. again. This is the beach at Monkey Point, and this oh, yeah. is the rock wall at Monkey Point. And then there's Colin swimming back with a floaty he found. Water. You're funny, Colin. Mm -hmm. I'm all that way for a two dollar floaty thing. Oh, Teresa. Uh, Teresa, um, interesting shoreline here, mm -hmm. and the snorkel to it. Can you check it out? I feel like there could be some good stuff. Over this there. is proof yeah. that this, this is a great anchorage oh. too, because it's blowing like shit over there. Yeah. And we're not even barely feeling anything. And it's deep right up to the edge mm -hmm. of that, by the way. It was time to go snorkeling, and this was the best snorkeling we saw on the entire trip. I swam to the beach between the cut. It's so windy, I'm being sandblasted actually. And this is not a beach we would want to swim at. So there's a, an anchorage over there, so I think it's a bunch of masts. I'm gonna go back out in the water. I found all these shells, but I don't have a pocket for them. They're not just pretty. I have tons of shells at home. So hey Colin, Colin's on barbecue duty again because he did such a, such a fine job the last time. Uh, so we're wondering what was your favorite part of the day? Uh, the scuba, the uh, snorkeling. Absolutely incredible. Saw a pelican dive right in front of me, grab a bunch of fish and uh, uh, best snorkeling I've ever experienced. Really? That's uh, awesome. Yeah. Colorful fish, yeah. saw brain coral, all kinds of crazy stuff. It was cool. Awesome. Yeah. Tracy's all shined up and looking lovely. So what was your favorite part of the day? 
My favorite part of the day was going snorkeling. I know, it's it a great. Relax. Yeah, and that's the thing. And do it on my own and see some awesome plants. And even the rock was, the rock yeah. formation was interesting. Yep. The Indians and the little rocks and those sea urchins and little fish. Mm -hmm. It was good. Yeah. What was your favorite bit of the day? Well, I like that today's sale was a lot uh, more uh, with the with the with yeah yeah and uh, yeah it's a pretty awesome snorkeling. Yes, I got to put that snorkeling as some of the best fish I've seen. Probably seen better coral, but the fish were awesome. I've got lots of footage to show everybody, so that was great. And the downwind sailing, I think we must have averaged almost eight knots. So which is awesome. And without yeah. it slamming and bamming the whole way, it was really good. So. Okay, Dan's turn. There, yeah. Hey Dan, working hard on your beverage, are you? Yeah. So what was your favorite part of the day? The sailing part today was amazing. Uh, downwind with uh, big swells and big waves about uh, four or five feet high, but we just floated on top of them and just yeah, sailed for a good two hours. Yeah. Good. Okay, so yeah, the sail today was amazing compared to yesterday. Yesterday was a little bashy and half of us, including me, felt a bit yeah. nauseous. Today was beautiful. Uh, the three ladies spent most of the sail up on the bow, on the net, or sitting on a on a cushion, and just enjoying the ride. And it was fabulous. And then the snorkeling was also fabulous. But obviously, compared to scuba, I can't really compare. I, I you know, the fish were great, but uh, it's definitely the best snorkeling of this trip. Yeah. Bonaire, that little reef we did in Bonaire, where you went with the yes. current, uh, with that was by far the best snorkeling I've ever done. Can't wait to go back there someday. Scuba was nice because you go down. And yeah. With the fish. Yeah, like get right at level with them and look under ledges, etc., and, and find the ones that were hiding. But this was awesome. We got to follow a whole school of fish for a while. Bright blue ones. I'm not sure what they're called. Uh, they're called. I will look that up later. But yeah, all together so far, a, a fabulous day. So we're barbecuing dinner, and we're gonna try and catch some sun, uh, some sunset if the clouds don't ruin it. So this day was one of our more laid-back days. It was awesome snorkeling, but we really didn't party hard since we partied last night hard, and we're going to party tomorrow hard since it's my birthday. Tomorrow we'll be doing that partying at Foxy's Bar on Jost Van Dyke Island. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that episode. It's going to be good. Hopefully you found this episode informative and entertaining. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Join us next episode when the good times continue. We head to Jost Van Dyke Island where we celebrate my birthday at Foxy's Bar. A special thanks to the patrons that make this channel possible. And the best way to not miss an episode is hit that subscribe button. So until next time, this is Craig signing off, wishing you safe cruising.